Hello guys and welcome to the video. My name is Nawri Radwan and you are tuned to photomanipulation.com. In today's video, I will share with you the process of making this artwork. If you are new here, welcome. We are not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialize in photo manipulation, digital art and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out new videos every weekday. It's free, easy and really supports the channel. Let's roll the video. Enjoy. First thing I do is I cut the uh, objects from the uh, background. I use different ways of uh, cutting the objects. I use the uh, lasso tool to uh, cut the uh, buildings and any shape that's having a uh, uh, straight uh, edges and any simple shapes that doesn't have uh, messy edges on them. I use the uh, pen tool to cut uh, people or uh, animal or anything that's important in the scene that uh, uh, you think that the audience or the viewer uh, will uh, focus on the most the main character or uh, any object that's close to the uh, camera and if it's a uh, secondary object you can just cut it uh, in a quick way with the uh, select and mask because no one will uh, focus on it you will just uh, waste your time uh, you don't have to be specific uh, in cutting every object just focus on the main things in the scene if you are cutting a object and you see that the edges are pain to uh, work with it's too hard to select you can just uh, use the uh, select and mask and use the uh, refine edge you can uh, check uh, one of, uh, of Abby's uh, video on the channel uh, explaining the uh, select and uh, mask uh, technique if you are cutting a landscape uh, scene let's say you are selecting uh, a mountain or trees or a forest and this forest or that objects are uh, in uh, a scene where there is a high contrast between them and the sky or anything uh, behind uh, let's say there is a blue sky and a forest in the front you can just use the uh, color channels uh, technique to uh, cut them in case the color channel technique didn't work uh, very well you can uh, always use the uh, color range from uh, the select option uh, at the top and then select the uh, areas that you want to cut uh, from uh, your uh, scene uh, they do the, uh, the same uh, job but in different scenarios uh, color channels uh, works uh, better uh, so yeah this is my uh, techniques that I use for uh, cutting the objects so remember uh, the uh, polygonal tool uh, and the lasso tool to uh, select uh, objects like buildings uh, sometimes I use it for trees but you have to use the uh, select and mask with it because trees have uh, messy edges I use the uh, pen tool to cut uh, people uh, uh, let's say cars spaceships anything that's uh, anything that you can't cut uh, using the uh, other techniques because even if you have uh, a picture of a model and the background uh, behind it uh, is uh, easy to cut let's say it's just the model and white uh, background and you decided to use uh, other uh, technique uh, other than uh, the pencil you will get uh, very messy edges so I recommend using the uh, pen tool if you have the time, only if you have the time to cut uh, the main objects. But if you don't, you can always uh, use the other techniques and uh, have like one minute to uh, clean the edges. And then I start to place my objects in uh, certain points. I don't do it uh, randomly, I use a technique that's called uh, the rule of uh, thirds. So basically this technique is using four lines, two are horizontally and the other two are vertically to help you place your objects in uh, certain points, in certain areas to make your scene uh, more interesting to the eye of the uh, viewer.
And then the first step in the composition work is to fix the uh, values and the way to do it is I add a black and white adjustment layer at the top that will uh, help me look at the values uh, in uh, a better vision and it will make the uh, work uh, easier for me so remember this is a chip always in your work add the sky and the ground first and fix the values and the colors of the uh, sky and the ground because depending on the uh, sky and the ground you will uh, decide the uh, other uh, objects uh, values and color so always start with them and the other things will come after that so here's the general rule of fixing the values the closer the object to the eye or the camera the more contrasted it will get and more details will be shown on it and the further the object from the eye or the camera the more it will be affected by the sky and it will be less uh, contrasted and less detail will be shown unless there is a uh, light source touching it after fixing the values i add hue and saturation adjustment layer to every uh, object uh, to match the uh, saturation between the objects so there is no uh, object more or less saturated than the other but remember you don't want to overdo it because we still need the raw color of the objects we don't want it to be near black and white and lose all the colors and the saturation that will make the color matching uh, boring and you don't want that after matching the saturation the next step is to start matching the colors there are three adjustment layers for that the curves and levels and color balance sometimes i use the selective color but i rarely do that it's not must have in my uh, works sometimes one of these three adjustment layers that i mentioned does the job and sometimes we'll need to add other adjustment layer to help uh, push the uh, color matching even more if you feel like the uh, in case you felt like the uh, first adjustment layer didn't do the job so you will uh, need to add uh, another one uh, to help curves is the main adjustment layer i use for both fixing the values and matching the colors because it's more advanced than the other uh, adjustment layers it has the uh, point control of uh, every point on the objects from the dark areas to the uh, highlights next step is to start painting the shadows on the scene underneath the objects on the opposite area or the opposite direction of the light source and the way to do it is just by using the soft brush with a little bit of hardness around the uh, 45% maybe and remember to use the shortcuts like B and E B to paint and E to erase because you will need to paint the shadow and erase it to give it the uh, accurate uh, shape. After I paint the shadows I start painting the uh, atmosphere on the scene by adding uh, some fog using the soft brush and uh, using the uh, shortcuts B and E to paint and erase and then adding a noise texture blurred by 2 pixels. Uh, on uh, screen blending mode and 5% opacity to make the uh, shape look like it's fog not just a uh, painting uh, with a soft brush on the scene after that I add a vibrance adjustment layer at the top and then I increase the saturation and the vibrance all the way up till my scene is too saturated that will help you look at the uh, colors on your scene in uh, a better view if you find that there is a lot of different colors that means you didn't do a good job and you need to go back and fix it and then I add a camera raw filter and I start playing with the uh, lighting and the values and the colors even more because the camera raw filter has more control of these things okay guys so what you just watched right now is a quick breakdown of my scene that I made with uh, Photoshop if you like what you just watched and you like the uh, quality of the video and the uh, voice, please stay tuned for my upcoming course.
where I dive more into the details and share with you the techniques and make these type of artworks from the scratch and show you the full process of making these artworks. The curse soon will be finished and these time lapses I add to the channel are works that's going to be included in the curse so if you like what you see right here make sure to get that curse and support the channel. So yeah guys this is the end of the video make sure to like and subscribe if you are not already and leave a comment down below to help us improve our future content. I will see you in the upcoming videos. Peace.